No, I'd rather punch him in the face and break his camera, but I'm going to restrict him. No, I'd rather punch him in the face and break his camera, but I'm going to restrict him. I, I don't, I don't like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's alright. No, it's Legally, they can't do anything. But, uh, he's not inside. Said. In front of police, you sit on me. Um, the reports are... to be on smile mode and I said I'm just doing my job. Right yeah. He spit on my face in front of the police. I want him hurt. I want stop by here. It seemed pretty crazy. I mean we Actually, we kind of saw the beginning of it. We walked right out and we saw, I saw all the, the fire trucks and the two ambulances coming here. And then we saw the police kind of like waving them really quickly. So I thought something was pretty serious. We kind of backed off a little bit. Um, but then we looked and it, it was pretty crazy. I mean, I'm sure we saw the first like 10 minutes. Um, we should have stayed, I mean, we should have stayed and kept watching, but uh, it's, it's pretty horrible to hear, to hear what happened. So you've only been in this neighborhood for two days and did you ever like see people coming out from that house? Or? No, not really. I mean, I wish I, I wish I could tell you more about that, but I, I, I haven't. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I saw a woman crying on the. So, on the got away. Where did yeah. you move from? Uh, we moved from uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. So yeah. is this like your first rendezvous in New York City? This is yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how is this like going to affect your perception of the city? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's really sad. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if it if it affects my perception of the city, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's. I mean, I come from a place that's a little more rural, so it's, it's interesting to feel right. when you're so close with people, uh, this kind of stuff can happen right in your neighborhood. Right. Um, right. So it's pretty crazy. Right. Right. Yeah. And you picked this neighborhood basically for price point or? Everything, yeah, right. yeah. It's, it's a really nice area. Right. Okay, and um, what about the people in the area? How would you describe it? I wouldn't be able to say so much yet, but but I think everyone's really nice. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a nice vibe. We were just in the in the the river river bank, Riverside Park. Okay, it's, it's, it's really nice. But yeah. Do you have anything else you want to say? I think that's everything. Yeah. You want to have a name? You uh, I don't. I want to give my name if, that, if that's right, okay. Right. Yeah, 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 I appreciate right. it. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, <laughs> hope you. I don't know where the weapon came from. Yeah. Hmm? And uh, how often does stuff like this happen in this area? Never. No, but I, 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 I doubt it. Okay. And do you happen to know anyone that lives at 515? That no, I don't know. I know. Speak to me. I never saw them, you know. Because you don't come outside, you know. I just live a few doors down, you know. Oh. I don't usually see them, you know. No. So you never really seen anyone come out of that house? No. Okay. Doubt it. Okay. Gotcha. Out unusual. How long 
have you been a resident in this community? Oh, five years. Or more. And you normally feel safe? I don't feel safe. They say, you know, about this. It's a safe area, you know, but this is out unusual to go there, you know. What do you think the family is going through right now, knowing that one of their family members? Obsession. Nocturnal. Obsession. Very much an unusual thing. You know. Can you just tell me your first name? Dennis. Can you please spell it for me? D-E-N-N-I-S. Is there anything you'd like to share? No. Mm, uh, All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.